Hi, my name is Adam Bradley from Adam's Tech Life, and here's four macOS accessibility features that you should enable to stay productive, minimize distractions, and speed up your workflow. Starting with number one, and my personal favorite, the three finger trackpad drag. This feature allows you to use three fingers to drag or resize a window instead of the standard two finger method, which requires pressing down on the trackpad and can cause hand strain during long working sessions. Using three fingers provides better control and stability, making it easier to position windows precisely without the usual jitter of the two finger method. Dragging windows now feels lighter, more effortless, and less straining leading to a seamless workflow. Just open the settings, go to accessibility, scroll down to pointer control, choose trackpad options, and enable use trackpad for dragging, and then choose the three finger drag from the drop down menu. Number two is to reduce transparency for better focus and more battery life. The Mac operating system looks stunning with sleek semi-transparent windows and a frosted glass effect in the menu bar and dock. But these visuals can be distracting when you're trying to focus on work. They can unconsciously add to cognitive overload and pull your attention away from the task at hand. Disabling transparency replaces the frosted glass effect with a solid white background in the menu bar and dock. Not only does this reduce GPU load, helping to extend battery life, but it also minimizes distractions, allowing for longer periods of uninterrupted productivity. Just open settings and go to accessibility, then display and turn on reduce transparency. Number three is white noise and ambient sounds. When I'm working, I like to have soft background music playing to drown out noise and help me focus. I usually loop a YouTube video of some sort, but I often get distracted by the recommended videos on the sidebar. And it also does not work if you're offline. I found a better solution to help you be more productive and reduce distractions while you're trying to work. Your Mac actually has built-in ambient sounds, ranging from gentle rainfall to crackling firewood, plus classic white noise and more. It's an easy way to create your own bubble of calm and focus without the distraction of other YouTube videos. Just open settings, go to accessibility, audio, turn on background sounds, choose the desired sound and adjust the volume. These ambient sounds work without an internet connection and can automatically turn off when your Mac is idle, such as when it's locked or when the screensaver is activated. Number four is to turn on grayscale mode to reduce distractions. App icons, notification badges, and website thumbnails are vibrant by design, meant to grab your attention and pull you away from focused work. Every tiny flash of color triggers a dopamine hit, drawing you into endless micro rewards that drain your mental energy. By switching to grayscale, you strip away these visual triggers, making your screen less stimulating and surprisingly more calm. It becomes easier to stay immersed in deep work because your brain isn't constantly chasing the next tiny burst of excitement from a bright red dot or a vivid ad banner. This subtle shift helps preserve your focus, reduce mental fatigue, and sustain your productivity for longer, especially on those days when your motivation is running low. Just open up settings, go to accessibility, then display, scroll down to color filters, select grayscale, and turn on color filters. Let's look at a few bonus tips that can help you stay productive as well, like an easy trick to manage your files and how to keep your Mac from going to sleep. Next time you want to organize files, skip the hassle of creating a folder first and then dragging files into it. Instead, try this trick. Hold Command, click to select the files you want, then right click and choose New Folder with Selection. macOS will instantly create a folder with your chosen files and then you can rename the folder. No extra steps are required. I'm constantly having to organize video files, so this small feature has made file management easier. Speaking of easier, if you need to send multiple images, then instead of sending each image one by one, you can create a single PDF that has all your images in one file. Select the images, right click, go to quick actions, and choose create PDF. 
And just like that, your scattered files transform into a single tidy document, perfect for presentations, portfolios, or sharing scanned papers without the chaos of mismatched file names. If you need to prevent your Mac's display or system from going to sleep while you're not using it, say like maybe downloading or uploading large files, or doing a presentation in a meeting and you don't want your Mac to go to sleep, here's a fix for that. Open the built-in application called Terminal, type in caffeinate and hit enter. You won't notice much of a difference except for the word caffeinate appearing in the terminal's status bar. Now your Mac's display and system will stay powered on until you turn this off. To turn off caffeinate, simply press Ctrl C in terminal. The caffeinate command will stop running and the terminal's status bar will return to normal. Your Mac will now follow the sleep settings that you have set up in settings. The Mac has many built-in features to boost productivity, minimize distractions, and speed up your workflow. Let me know which feature you're going to be using in the comment section below, and thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Clean My Mac's YouTube channel for more expert tips and hidden tricks to make the most of your Mac.